Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So friend, in today in this video, I'm going to cover uh, some important updates. Okay, so this is related to cognitive exam result cutoff uh, criteria for interview called Gen C, Gen C, Next, Gen C Pro Role for 2025 on campus candidates. Already you know that recently Cognion announced the 2025 batch on campus hiring and recently many candidates given the assessment as well and they're waiting for the exam results. So today I am going to discuss all the official notification. So please watch video till the end and let's begin. So you can see my screen. This is hiring uh, released by the Cognian team around uh, this hiring started from 30th August and it will, uh, it will go on the 7th September. The registration is open from okay. And this is the link for applying. Okay, the registration will close and this is the official notification. Correct. And this is the Cognigent campus high 25 Cognigent. Okay. So moving to the next slide. See, this is uh, they basically they hire for they started hiring for three category role like Gen C next Gen C. Pro and Gen C. Okay, Gen C for 4 LPA patrol programmer analyst training. Gen C Pro is for 5.4 4 LPA for programmer analyst. Okay, and this is also programmer analyst, but this is uh, higher than Gen C Pro. Okay, 6.25. Hiring start from August 24. Reach out to our placement officer for more details. And this for rank one Y Cognion. You have to choose their dimension. And Gen C benefits. Okay. Next, this is the complete hiring process. First of all, you have to registration, register to the assessment, then screening, and if you clear the round one, see round one is your communication assessment, which is held on 11th and 12th September, and round two is the aptitude assessment and technical assessment. Date will be communicated already complete, completed, and candidates right now waiting for the round three, which is a in person Gen C next or Gen C Pro or Gen C interview. Date will be communicated, and after giving round round two, it is hardly take 10 to 15 working days for releasing the result. Correct and cut off. I will discuss. Don't worry. Okay, and see. And uh, all sort of candidates will be notified on the hiring category for interview. And this is this is a on uh, off campus interview. You have to visit the office. And based on your performance or aptitude assessment and technical assessment, they will send you a Gen C next Gen C Pro Gen C role. Okay, and after that, if selected for the role, they will release your LOI for the all the for the respective roles. Okay, and next. Okay, it is a mandate to complete uh, communication to attain assessment to eligible for the inter uh, interview. Internship will be offered to subject for a selected candidate based on the skill, business demand, performance, and provisional certificate as availability. Other selected candidate will be uh, onboarded as a full time employee post successful completion of the engineering degree. Okay, so you will get internship after that you are going to get a full time job. Okay, and this is the criteria 25 batch of BB Tech, MEM Tech, Stream Law, uh, such as a laser, and 60% credit 10 12th. Okay, rounding of uh, is not allowed, the setting area not eligible, flexible work from any community. Okay. They already mentioned. Okay, this is the main document for registration. Okay, for onboarding, this is a document for required. Okay, and in, uh, important notes for registration. Okay, so candidate to, to, uh, to choose any of two preferred skills like cluster one, cluster two, and cluster three. Cluster one is Java NSI, and this is the uh, this under comes under the uh, cluster one. Okay, and this is a cluster two Python NSI, and this is a cluster three. Okay, so you can choose uh, any two preferred skills cluster. One, two, or three. Okay, and can you note that the final decision of mapping skill cluster for technical assessment is a uh, at the role of uh, solve discussion of cognition. Okay, and the name of the data work together. They already mentioned. Correct. And all communication are sent to the registry email ID, super ID. Okay, and uh, this is the information, the system guidelines. See. This is the registration screening communication and see this is your own assessment which is already completed okay so uh see this is your communication assessment is mandatory assessment for further move your condition ahead in the hiring process and this is a system duration and three section section are communicate in the communication assessment okay and this is the prerequisite of the assessment and this is an important note okay and do and those this is a do and those okay okay so see on my screen okay so this is your uh, cluster one cluster two and cluster three you can choose either two okay and the coding java questions 120 or 120 minutes so total uh, uh, section is three okay encoding java language query based questions they will ask okay in duration 120 minutes okay so okay so total is a see on my screen 120 or uh, 120 minutes okay total three section is there 24 questions and coding question one is easy for two questions total duration is 30 minutes and code debugging 20 questions 20 minutes but means one question you will get a one minutes already given okay coding number two two questions see if you are able to solve all the questions like in coding essay question two question you have solved code debugging 20 question you have solved like 18 question you can say 18 question plus a hard question if you solve both then you will get you will receive a hard highest package okay gen c pro i think so okay okay so first role is for gen c then gen c pro then gen c next okay so if you're able to solve all the uh, all the coding question easy for two two questions and hard question two and code debugging if you solve 18 plus 15 to 18 question you have correct then you will get a next month of 6.75 a package you will receive okay and definitely you are going to qualify for the gen c next interview if you have performed uh, solve all the coding question code debugging and code uh, hard question 
then definitely you can receive a Gen C next. And for Gen C Pro, if you have solved coding of one for two question fully solved, and in coding hard, if you solved only one question, only one question you have solved. Okay, wait, I am just mentioning very clear. Okay, so that you will get to know. Because I think this is how you are going to uh, get a full things. Okay, so first is for Gen C, correct? Gen C, then Gen C next. Sorry, Gen C Pro, I think so, no? Gen C next this is a three role correct but i'm just uh mila lete hai role ko okay so gen c next gen c pro then gen c next correct okay and uh, moving to the okay see uh for gen c next you have to solve all the questions correct for this one okay so you have to solve uh, the coding question two question then code debugging 20 means uh you have to, you can solve around uh wait i'm just uh, taking the pen okay so if you're going for the gen c next then what are the cutoff sir so in two questions you have to solve two 20 questions 15 to 18 you have to correct and in two questions you have to solve the two question okay maybe in other question you, you can uh, pass 18 percent test course test case is uh, it's enough okay this for gen c ne next if you're talking about gen c pro for 5.4 LPA, then you have to solve two questions. Definitely have to solve code debugging. You have to solve at least 10 question plus you have to correct. Okay, and hard question. If you are able to solve at least one code, one question fully solved, then you are go good for uh, the Gen C uh, Pro. And for Gen C, if you are able to solve one coding question from there, code debugging. If you solve 10 plus questions and hard question, if you are able to solve at least 50 percent test case of one coding question, then definitely you will receive a Gen C. And this is the cutoff. And sir, so when we can expect the result of the tech assessment? So definitely it will take around 10 to 15 working days. You have to wait. Okay. So it's not like each and every, each and everyone is going to receive. No. Based on your performance on the technical assessment, they will get back to you for, uh, for your uh, exam result. Correct. So they will be get back to you within 10 to 15 working days. Definitely I will update. Guys, first the result you have to come. Aptitude assessment and technical assessment. This is already completed. I already know that. Okay. Then based on the performance, this is an offline interview which, which they are going to conduct. Okay. And aptitude should also you have to maintain at least 50% for Gen C next, 70% for Gen C Pro and on for the 70 per, uh, 60 65% plus for Gen C. Okay. So you have to perform well. Okay. Because they are going to conduct. Okay. So uh, I think that's it for the video. So all the best everyone who is waiting for the result. Definitely I will get back to you if once I get any information from the Cognizant team regarding the result and interview mail and definitely this interview is going to be happen offline. So you have to prepare very well for the interview run because TCS ka bhi same hai. Digital Ninja Prime ka jo tha wo bhi same hai. Aapke liye bhi same hai. To aap loches perform karna and aapko abhi update karta raha preparation ke videos mein kafi upload upload ke liye kya jaunga. To please video ko like karna. Main Telegram ko jor se jor chhod ho jana. Milte hain. Jai Hind. Jai Bharat.